Let's demonstrate single linkage. On the left hand side, we have a data set with 50 data points in two dimensions. Each green dot is a data point. And on the right hand side, we're showing the merges, which is number of merges on the x axis, and the y axis is the length of that single linkage, namely the closest point between two clusters. As we move on and start to merge more and more clusters, initially you will notice that uh, those seems to be blue tiny dots on the left. These are really lines connecting two green dots. But because those two green dots are very close to each other, the uh, lines are just like little dots. As we merge more and more clusters, the lines will be clear. Remember, a cluster is a connected component on the left hand side. Now on the right hand side, as you can see, as we keep merging clusters, the single linkage distance is growing. And there are some natural gaps. Now we have um, we have done about 40 merges right now. So that means we have roughly speaking 10 clusters left. Um, as you can see on the left, these are the connected components. So they form like uh, interesting tiny groups. But let's do a couple more as we will see the structure of single linkage will be uh, even more clear. All right, so at this point, we have one, two, three, four, five, five clusters left. Now, the structure of these clusters, they form long arcs, they're not circular. And this is a feature of single linkage, as we will see. On the right-hand side, we see that single linkage distance as we merge for that step, that is keep growing, so of course, uh, but let's try to identify big gaps as we keep merging them. So let me do one more step. Uh, we have four clusters left, and there is a big jump in terms of the um, um, single linkage distance. Let's do one more. Okay, um, that's not a big jump. And now we have three clusters left. Let's do one more step. So now we have two clusters, and this is kind of the idealized cluster situation. Um, what is interesting, though, is if we do the final step, and uh, uh, it will connect these two into a single big cluster. But let's pay attention to the distance on the right hand side. So I'm going to do this step now. All right, here's the step. As you can see, this final step has a very large single linkage distance. As we discussed in class, you could monitor such big jumps in uh, single linkage distance and say that hmm, maybe before that step, that's where I want to stop clustering. That means in this case, if we say, hey, the single linkage distance, say above 0 0.6 is too big, I'm going to stop, then you will end up with two clusters. And recall, these two clusters really have that manifold arc structure. 